Europa. Și dacă și ea nu e bună deloc la cosplay, asta nu se scoarce de spune. Gata, oprește, gata, nu mai am niciun chef de nimic, ta. oprește, gata. Good morning, Anyong, Anyong Hikese. Anyong Hikese, I'm so used to saying that. Anyong Haseo, and then mine went blank. I just thought of making my little blog a little bit about candida recipes because there's some out there but there's not enough and definitely not stuff that i would eat you know if you have stomach issues if you have gastritis and you can't eat you know a lot of things i don't know it's like it's really americanized recipes i don't know if this will help but this is ginger oh kids ginger cinnamon tea and what i mean by that is i put some boiled water over a, like a teaspoon of cinnamon and some grated ginger not enough ginger or too much cinnamon uh, but cinnamon is supposed to be basically what diflucan does breaking down the cell wall the cell membrane of the yeast so we'll see we'll see how that goes um i'm still not sure I, the deadline is wednesday i put my deadline to be wednesday i'll take the diflucan maybe but the more i like discover new foods and things the more i wonder should i try the natural way at least for a little while longer because if the natural way kills them even more then if you take that it's even better i don't know i'm really kind of sure that i don't want to take it for a whole month but then i go back and kind of feel what my body feels and then it's like oh i should take it for a month or two because i feel it everywhere the struggle and a lot of people tell me uh, or have told me different things you know some people tell me i'd take the the diflucan some people tell me no go the natural route all this stuff the ones that tell me go the natural route and i sort of understand and i know it's definitely my part of human nature that wants or whatever nature that wants things to be resolved as fast as possible which would be the medicine and not the natural way it's also there because i know my body and i know the struggle that i'm experiencing now between my stomach i feel like my stomach my my esophagus and my throat my sinuses definitely my intestines possibly even other organs have this candida it sounds crazy and it sounds weird and i have no proof but guess what the doctor don't don't have them the doctors don't have any proof either no one has proof no one can tell you exactly where it is or maybe if they can it's very expensive so i just i really believe that this like shoulder pain that i'm experiencing right now uh, because of the stomach being super agitated not agitated uh, inflamed something you know so i really have wanted to say to those people to each their own everyone has to do what is right for them and you can't really dictate what is right for me because you're not in my body i think people don't understand what i'm going through they think i'm exaggerating which is you know it's not anything new i guess um but yeah we'll see we'll see but i do want to do the little recipes of something that's more you know edible and normal food that you can actually like survive on so I, I saw a lot of stuff a lot of cauliflower and i can't handle cauliflower well like it like right now this shoulder pain is partially from last night eating a cauliflower crust pizza um and basically just cauliflower with an egg put in the oven and salt and pepper a little bit and then put i put what did i put on it red onions which are horrible at least the ones we get they're so sweet and they have no onion taste and nothing olives so I, <laughs> I kept thinking of the romanian word maslina olives plain olives and olive oil and water and la lactic acid unfortunately but no vinegar no wine i don't understand why i can't find normal olives i don't understand that parsley some asparagus and beets like two slices of beets because even though they have sugar i need them for cleansing the blood so i'm going to also go look for a juicer need a juicer I really need a juicer because I really need a juicer or a smoothie i mean because i don't know i don't know if it's like should be the same right a smoothie like i would get a bullet because it's so simple so simple ours lasted for a few years but it broke down after a few years so the bullet is good because you can have it as food processor and all that stuff and it's nice and it's small 
you know, small quantities. My face is better. A lot better. Look at that. Well, this still is sort of happening. Well, you can't see. But my face is pretty clear. And I haven't really washed my face that much. But my nose is stuffed. Like, really stuffed up. Um, I really enjoy this. May it kill everything. I mean, not everything. May it kill, like, all the bad stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to update. I keep saying that oh, I need to edit these. What's so many? There's, like, two weeks of editing now. I can do it. I'll do this this weekend. I really, I really want to do it. And definitely, like, focus on uh, the vlog. But I have to go get pedicure, manicure. I want to say I'm, like, I'm going to cry a little bit. My brain has changed. And it's not because of the candida thing. Last night, I tried um, making an almond flour cookie biscuit thing. Very good. Oh my gosh. I don't think I want to go back to, like, regular flour because it's so much better. Um, I was scared, obviously. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I have an allergy? Even though, I don't know, a few months ago I was eating almond butter and almond... Like, <laughs> I loved almond butter for so long. I've had peanut butter. I mean, I've had, dude, I've had peanut butter since I came to the U.S. in form of Reese's Cups. I had so much peanut butter in that form with chocolate. Otherwise, I don't like it. But, you know, staying away from peanuts because it has mold and all that stuff, so no. Even if I don't have allergies. But after eating that almond butter, my brain has changed. Like, it feels more courageous. So, you know, like, there's old or however old or new, but there's a big saying, every day do something that scares you. That's true. Because now I feel so much better. Like, I want, I'm even thinking, like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I'm going to paint my nails. And also... Now I feel like editing and now I feel like doing this vlog on uh, these recipes and stuff and fear. Fear is just something else. Keep this not short at nine minutes, but you know, shorter. And uh, I hope you're going to have a good day. Oh, and I like this part. I'll flip it around. I don't know if you can see. It's not that it's not meant to be, it's that you have to work harder and truly want it. And I have like here like an example seashell. It's my... She's the seashell story which if you don't know it's one in one of the earlier vlogs um i can't tell you which one i'm sorry but it's basically i found a seashell i lost it i cried about it for like a few seconds and then i'm like nope i'm going to find that seashell because i'm gonna find it i want that seashell and then i found it boom so it's not that it wasn't meant to be for me to have the seashell i had to work for it i work so that's my I, I posted this and i want to post it everywhere to remind myself that because i oftentimes i think oh my gosh maybe it's not meant to, for me to have eaten this if it fell on the floor you know like this is a bad example but i think of that stuff all the time all the time like turning right or getting a stoplight or anything not every every second everything but a lot of things a lot of time so i don't want to do that anymore i want to like my mind is changing that's all i can say in like the shortest waveform i can go into details it's kind of hard because it's still working itself but my brain is changing for the better so that's good all right Annyeong hikaseyo, annyeong hikaseyo.
Și-a lăsat așa la gol și le deranjează. Gol, dar e trimă. Ia uite. Emotionally. Ce frumos. Foarte interesant. Hello. Ne uite